Hey YouTube, this is Otto, the Colorado Jeep DIY guy. Listen, I know this is kind of basic, but maybe someone is just looking to check their oil level and change their air filter. Well, let's do that. First, you're going to need to open the hood on your TJ. Now it's not necessary for you to take your hood all the way back like this just to check some oil in the air filter. I like to because I can really see my engine compartment very well. What you're going to need are your hands, maybe a cloth and you're going to need to know what you're looking at. First, you're going to want to know where in the world is your engine oil dipstick? Well, it just happens to be this yellow guy sticking out of the engine block itself, which goes down to the bay there. You're going to want to pull that out, wipe the engine oil off, reinsert it, come back out and check it again. So since we're talking about oil, let's go ahead and pull that dipstick and find out what the oil looks like on the dipstick when you pull it out. You can see it goes all the way up and down the dipstick because the engine is running and moves oil around in your engine compartment. Also up the dipstick chamber, which is that hollow tube now that I just removed the dipstick from. I'm gonna wipe this off, reinsert it. Let that set for just a second. Come back out and take a new look. Now there's definitive lines on the dipstick on both sides. Now my oil level looks like it's right above the add, but below the safe, wording, but it's between those two dots, which means I've got enough oil. Well, remember, my engine's warm right now. I didn't tell you that, but that means the oil level is probably going to be a little bit lower on the dipstick than it would be if the engine was cold and all the oil had drained back down to the bottom. So keep that in mind when you're checking either warm or cold engine. Next, let's go to that air filter. Now, since I've removed all the clips off the air filter, just by popping them loose like we're showing you, Next is to figure out, well, how in the world do you get this thing off? Because, well, it's kind of cumbersome. Well, the trick is, when you lift this air box off, just tilt it slightly and slide it back. That flexible hose that they put on the air intake system isn't there by accident. It's there by design so you can remove this. Then you have full exposure to the air filter itself. Then you're gonna wanna remove the air filter. If you notice at the ends, they have a little tab here for you to put your finger in. It allows you to grab the air filter a little bit easier than manipulating it from the sides. Then, pull the air filter out and inspect it. Well, what are you looking for? Honestly, on a beautiful sunshine day like this, take the air filter and go straight up to the sunshine. If you can see the sunshine through the air filter like this, you've got a fairly clean oil filter. If you don't, well, you probably should look at changing it. Me. I've got a good looking filter, I'm not going to change it right now. Remember, it can be dirty on the edges like that. What I'm really worried about is the air going through. I don't want it in my intake system. So now, I'm just going to replace my filter and let it run until the next oil change, or at least until I check it again after some heavy off-roading. Then you simply lift your box back, settle it in place. and reattach all of the clips. Edge. And the tricky one, done. And that is checking your air filter and your oil level. Simple things on a Jeep TJ, but thought you might wanna know.